Oh my god. To bang bitch, holler when you feel this. Fresh up out the county, tell them hoes to get up on me. I was in that motherfucker with some killers. What up, YouTube? Welcome to the Sonic. Welcome to the Supreme Week 5. Why the fuck did I just put up 5 when I said week? Week 5 preview. Before we get started, I do need to give a huge shout out to Jay Prem, aka Drops by Jay. I am low key still kind of like. I'm like fanboying right now because I just got the J Prem, or I'm just gonna call him J. Yeah, I just got a follow back from him, so I'm like, damn, bro, like I appreciate. It. I hit him up in the DMs, and I was like, yo, thanks for what you do, man. I appreciate it. And then he was like, thanks, homie, keep putting out the quality content. And I was like, damn, that's dope that he even knows I make YouTube videos. Like, man, huge shout out to Drops by J. It all comes from Drops by J on Twitter, and then obviously I just put it in this format. Just so you guys know the format of these videos, of course, as always, we will discuss the pieces, and at the end of the video, I will do a quick little live stream, discuss the viewers or discuss the pieces pieces with my viewers. I don't know why I had a brief moment of dyslexia there. Discuss the viewers with my uh, preview. I don't fucking know what I was going to say. We are going to hop, skip, mention my Instagram, and then jump right into it. First, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at the Starlight. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. I got all the items laid out. If there are any items that I miss, I might not put them all on the screen. There might be like two, maybe three items I don't put on the screen because I don't feel like cutting out the white around it. That shit takes fucking forever. Regardless, I will briefly mention them and then you can go follow Just by Jay and see what they look like if I, you know, if I don't put anything on the screen. But whatever this week we have the mike hill for supreme collab and this shit looks sick as fuck to me i fuck with several of these like these are fucking dope the homie matt was actually telling me i should buy a supreme skateboard deck if i was to ever buy a skateboard deck i would buy a girl deck just because i feel like that's the brand that i've always fucked with whenever i wanted to get into skateboarding in the past I always liked girl boards like I've always thought those boards look the dopest so that's just the board that I'd want to skate um but these boards do look pretty sick it's cool that they have such dope art on them and then as for these tees man um most of the tees to me are just okay but the one with this dude like on this balled up paper with the fucking pencil arms that shit is fire and the reason I like that is because it's not so boxy and they have one with this uh like frog that looks like it looks like he's being He's being eaten like a bowl of cereal or some shit. And then they have another one with this fucking... He's like a dude with jackrabbit ears running after a carrot that he's holding himself. So that seems ridiculous. And then it looks like some kind of like snake rat trap. That shit looks fucking dope actually. And that's on... That's like a long elongated graphic. Long elongated. What the fuck? Elongated graphic on the long sleeve. All those will be on the screen of course. But yeah, overall I think these... I think this collab is sick, man. Now, for those of you that don't know, you guys might be like, but Jacob, I really want to buy this piece, but I don't know who Mike Hill is. Can I still buy it? Yes, you can buy whatever the fuck you want. And for those of you that don't know, Mike Hill is the co-founder of Alien Workshop. Alien Workshop. Why am I having such a hard time saying that fucking word? And Alien Workshop is obviously something that everyone fucking knows. And then, for the rest of week five, the first item is the checkered nylon hooded pullover and this is a piece that a lot of people discussed during the supreme preview this is going to come in four colorways it's going to come in like a lavender or a purple colorway a black a blue with yellow supreme and then an orange with like a green i think these things are dope these ones will probably sell out pretty quickly i i don't really care if i get this piece i'm not super crazy on it it's it's a printed logo, so that's why I'm not super hyped on it, to be honest. Next, we have the Tonal Stripe Logo Crew Neck. This piece will probably not sell out instantly. Most of the crew necks don't, but this is a super dope piece. This is going to come in a purple, red, black, and like a green or turquoise colorway. I don't know which color I want to go for, honestly. I mean, the black isn't like an all black. It's like kind of like a slate black. I think I'll probably end up going for the red one, though. The red one looks pretty fire. And low-key, that would be like the perfect Christmas sweater. Like, that would be the perfect hype beast Christmas sweater. Next up, we have the sleeve stripe, long sleeve, half zip top. I don't know why I, I forgot how to read for a second. But uh, this piece I'm super stoked on. I do not remember if I showed this off in the ss17 preview i don't think i did but this piece is fucking dope i don't know what color i want it has a really cool vibe i really like the yellow one i like the white one too but i just can't wear white if you don't mind wearing white i would recommend the white one because the white one is super fire i'll probably go for the yellow one um but yeah man this thing is definitely something i really want in my collection i love the half zips and this looks like it's actually a lighter weight half zip kind of like the jacquard supreme half zip that dropped next up we have the glitter arc hooded sweatshirt and now this piece looks really cool however I will I will probably not cop this the fact that it says glitter makes me think that there's glitter on the actual logo and for that reason I will not acquire it. and that is why I think these videos are crucial this looks embroidered it looks really dope I think that's a really sick fucking piece it's very small and just 
it's just sick. It's clean, it's simple, it's nothing over the top. But if it's got glitter on that bitch, I can't cop it. Next, we have the striped hooded crew neck, I believe. Yeah, crew neck, which it's like, it, it, is it really a crew neck when it's hooded now? I mean, I get that you still got a crew neck with a hood inside of it, but it's, it's all attached. It's not two pieces. I don't know. Anyways, these things look perfect for any trip to Mexico. They got like an orange colorway, a black and white colorway, which that one's not as perfect for a trip to Mexico. And then they got like a blue and green colorway, which would be perfect for like Jamaica. Then we have the pinstripe short sleeve football top. Now, this is another piece I do not recall actually showing off or discussing, not showing off, but discussing during the SS17 preview. This piece is fucking insanely dope. I really like that like white and pink one. I wish it wasn't white. Uh, the North Carolina colorway is super hard. That one's super, I don't know which one I want to cop, but I kind of want to cop one of those and I might end up going for it depending on the price. Right now the retails are not out, but if they do release before I drop this video, I will post them with like next to each piece. And then if they are not released by the time this video releases, then I will tweet them out. You can follow me on Twitter, The Star Life. I'll retweet Drops by Jay's tweet. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, I'll discuss it on live, whatever. Now this week we actually have some really dope caps and I normally do not fuck with Supreme caps but I might end up acquiring one of these. I'm not quite sure how they will fit honestly because it looks like they would fit kind of weird but the caps look super dope and these are the overlap six panels so it's got the Supreme overlap logo all embroidered. It almost looks like it's like a, like a twill fabric or a corduroy uh it looks more like a twill though because it's really really small you can't really see like heavy yeah i'm pretty sure i'm like 98 percent sure that's a twill but it looks super clean they're all tonal they're just clean hats if these hats fit you good i would recommend copping one of them personally i don't rock flat brims and i only really rock beanies now but yeah super super dope look for sure next up we have the front panel zip what the fuck oh i didn't realize that i saw that little like gap and i thought that was kind of weird but there's a zipper on the front so these are all box logos that have zippers so that way you can store narcotics marijuana cocaine uh whatever you want i mean you might not want to put some crack rocks in there unless they're little itty bitty rocks but um, yeah, you can store all sorts of narcotics in there, and uh, that's pretty freaking handy if you're trapping hella hard. Speaking of great places to store narcotics and other goods, we have the leather fanny pack. Now, this is actually not a good way to store anything because it's just, no. I mean, if you fuck with fanny packs, that's cool. I see people that rock fanny packs, they look dope. But why do you need a heavy ass, leather, whack ass fanny pack like this? This is just whack to me, this is lazy. I, I don't like these fanny packs, I didn't like the hats. And I don't even like the next piece, which is this whack ass leather bomber. Whack. Whack, 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 whack. Next up we have the wash regular jeans. If you wanna look like you are straight from the 80s, if you like that old school look, these would be a good pair of denim for you. They also have this little star on the back of the ass. So that must mean that Supreme is living the star life. It probably doesn't mean that at all because most people from Supreme probably don't even know who the fuck I am, but I don't give a fuck because uh, the legend drops by Jay followed me, so I, I low-key, I, like, I feel like I'm cemented in Supreme history now. Then we have the Kung Fu shirt releasing this week, and this is a piece that was quite hyped. This might sell out pretty quickly. I feel like this piece had a lot of hype because it was different, but it might not sell out quickly. I don't know. Like, it's hard to say how this will sell. A lot of people may buy it, but a lot, I don't know. A lot of people discussed it in their SS17 preview. This was like a highlighted piece that a lot of people discussed, but at the same time, I feel like everyone was kind of on the fence. I'm not gonna copy it. I don't see a point in copying it. This is the type of shit that you see in the thrifts all the fucking time. I mean, I could go to the fucking Goodwill bins and find this for 70 cents. So there's just no point in copying this at all. And then we have like a shop jacket and a cardigan. That shit looks like, I don't know. If you wanna see what it looks like, it basically looks like some shit that Beetlejuice would wear. Yeah, man, overall, I think this week is a good ass week. Like, this is just a, there's so much shit in there. And like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think this is a good ass week. Feel free to give me your opinions. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And now we will get to the final portion of this video where we get on live. <laughs> oh man. I feel like someone was just about to leave a hating ass comment. I'm allergic to those fucking haters, man. Yeah, I just take a second to look at my beautiful ass fucking Instagram, 54.4K. Thank you so much, man. Thank you to all 54.4K of you. Yo, what is up, fam? Yo, yo, yo. Today, we are discussing the motherfucking Supreme Drop. Week five, baby. We got 91 million followers. I'm just kidding. That would be tight, but not quite. Bars, 111. Hey, what up? Yo, yo, Alexis Garcia, what up? Yeah, fuck your college paper. I'm just kidding. Not fuck school. School's important, man. Cody Meyer, what's up, man? 
freaking uh, Juan Pecan. <laughs> your your name rhymes. Bro, are you guys excited for the new Mike Hill shit though? Like real shit. That's gonna be fucking man. It's just fire. Let's go over the let's go over the Mike Hill stuff first, and then we'll go over everything else. I'm not gonna cop the skateboard. I actually say that in the video. And uh, my homie Matt wanted me to cop one because he's gonna teach me how to skateboard. And he wanted me to cop one of those, but I was like, bro, like when I skateboard, like I want to skate girl decks. Like I don't want to skate some random ass, like I don't know. I don't want to skate a Supreme deck to me. Like I want to skate a, a deck that I've been wanting forever, which is just a pink girl board. Shout out to Drops by J. By the way, guys, I got that follow from Drops by J today, and I, was, I feel blessed, man. Anyway, so. First up, we have this piece right here. This piece is fucking fire. I don't care. This is one of my favorite pieces from the drop. Um, they're all pretty dope, but I, I just like this one because it doesn't have like the box. Like I know a lot of people like this shit, but I'm more of a fan of that personally. So I don't know. That's me personally. I fuck with this one heavy. I fuck with all of them, but it's, as you can see, you got four graphics on four different tees and boards. It looks like on the back says, I regret everything. Anyways, on to what we have dropping this week besides the my kill stuff because we got some fire dropping like one thing i know a lot of people were stoked for was this right here i don't know what your guys opinions are i'm like okay with it i mean this is printed so i'm like eh. but other than that it's pretty chill like i like the fucking checker pattern but overall i'm probably gonna pass on this i think this is gonna be one of the more hyped items though to be honest we got this piece right here this is the tonal crew neck this piece i think is dope i really want to get this one but it looks like it's like, a, well, maybe not. I don't know. The graphic looks kind of pixelated, but I think this would be a perfect Christmas sweater. Like this would be a super dope Christmas sweater. Noah's passing both of them. I, I, man, I'm telling you, you're not going to be laced up for Christmas like me, son. You're not going to be laced up for Christmas like me, son. Then we got this right here. This is fucking fire. I don't care what anyone, this is what, one of the most fire pieces from the drop. I really like the, obviously I like the black one, but I think the white and the yellow one look the coolest. <clears throat> you mean this? I think that's embroidered. It looks embroidered, but I mean, I could be wrong. I fucking hope it's not screen printed. I don't mind like if it's printed occasionally, but bro, I like that's so small. You can get that embroidered for what you're charging. And then we got this and this looks really dope guys, but I'm kind of worried because I think this is going to be glitter, you know? Hey, Quentin, bro. I know I need to get on ASAP. But uh, I've just been fucking busy, fam. Shout out to Quinn, bro. That's like my Overwatch partner right there. Yeah, yeah, fuck that, bro. Fuck that. I said I might still copy just to see, but I don't know, man. These things, I think these things look pretty cool. Uh, I feel like Sleepy will definitely end up copying one of these. These, I think, are fire. You can't tell me that pink one's not fire. I don't know why they put a blue. Is that a blue stripe or a purple stripe, though? If it's blue, I'm like, why'd you put a blue stripe there? If it's purple, that makes sense, but that's fire. This North Carolina colorway is fire. Next up, we got this right here. Now, I don't care, bro. If you've been saying fucking you to anything, you are sleeping if you say you to this. This is fire. I'm not gonna cop this personally just because I don't like the fucking flat brims, but these are dope. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. I was like, what? Those are, man, you're tripping, bro. These are super hard. Looks like it has a twill top. Like, look at the fabric on there. That shit's tough, bro. Then we have this. This is okay, you know. Like I said in the video, you can store your narcotics uh, in this little flap, in the little zipper flap. Um, if this was a curve rim, I would probably consider copying it, but I just don't think they'll fit that good. However, this would be crucial. Like when I'm hiking, I could put a little snack in there or something. These are like okay for people that like, you know, dress like hella old school and shit. I mean, the coolest thing about these, though, honestly, is just that star on the back. And it looks like, compared to the racing jacket, this star is actually proportionate. When they did the racing jacket, that shit looked like it had a really fucking gimp-ass, like, top point. It was like a weak-ass star. This is like an actual proportionate star. I don't know. There was another thing, like, if you guys look at this drop. Like, right here. Where is it at? I mean, I just click the whole fucking picture. There's like a striped cardigan, and then there's also like a striped little work shirt. Uh, I don't know. I didn't actually feature those in the video, so I want to do like a brief little description on this bitch. Damn, we almost got 200 viewers. What up, man? Alexis Garcia, super dope. That's been like my quote of the century, bro. I say dope way too much. Like, that's something like I genuinely, like when people say like, you say dope too much, I'm like, bro, I already know. Like... I agree with you. I say that shit way too much, bro. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to stay on live just for a little bit longer while I import data into Final Cut. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. May the Supreme Gods bless you for tomorrow's drop because 
they've been kind of hit and miss with me lately. I feel like every once in a while they bless me, every once in a while they curse me. Like, we'll, we'll see tomorrow if I have the supreme blessing or the supreme cursing. Who the fuck knows? But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Bye, baby! Plugged in with the shooters in the ceilings for the cane. I feel like crack at the money game. Fought with the mother saying. Came out, hit the ground running like ain't nothing changed. Bitch, probably think I'm deranged. When you in love with the money, like this bound to get a range.